You've got to be honest with yourself when you start graduate school. The, the distance between bench and bedside is vast. And so the chance that a particular molecule you work on is going to be a drug is, is really very small. But you are having a chance at a place like Scripps to develop new knowledge that can inform therapeutic development downstream in a way that you probably can't entirely forecast. And I think that's pretty unique to Scripps and pretty powerful in terms of motivating graduate study. My name is Ryan Stowe. I'm currently a research associate at Michigan State University working with Melanie Cooper in the Department of Chemistry. I did my undergraduate study at Albion College where I majored in chemistry, and I did my graduate study in the lab of William Rausch at the Scripps Research Institute. My name is Alex Nana. I'm a graduate student at Scripps Research in Jupiter, Florida. I'm currently studying antibody drug conjugates in the laboratories of Christoph Rader and Bill Rausch. I actually did my undergraduate degree at Albion College, which is a small liberal arts college in Michigan where I studied chemistry. Hi, my name is Jessica Bush. I'm a first year graduate student rotating in the Valente lab here at Scripps. My undergrad was Albion College. They're known for kind of what Scripps is known for, so not having a lot of boundaries, a very open door policy, things like that. And I was a double major in biology and biochemistry. So I heard about Scripps through my professors at Albion. They sort of just showed me the SURF undergraduate research program and I ended up applying for it and getting in and then I found out that uh, a fellow alumni of LV and Ryan Stowe was already there and that was really great to hear. So it sort of just built on itself and ended up coming to Scripps for graduate school. When I started at the National Academy of Sciences, I knew I was interested in education, but I had no idea that there was a whole field dedicated to teaching and learning in chemistry. However, my advisor, Heidi Schweingruber, who's the director of that board, right away when I told her what I was interested in and what I'd done in the past, thought that that was the field for me and introduced me to my current mentor, Melanie Cooper at Michigan State. And so it had a very direct and lasting impact on my career going to DC and working with the National Academy. Um, I think it definitely helped that I you know, had my surf experience here and then came back here for graduate school. I'm much more comfortable with the area. During my surf program, I had the opportunity to learn a lot of different techniques and kind of how a bigger lab works because the lab that I was in at Albion was very small. Um, so learning how to function uh, with a lot of other students in the lab and with different expertise levels was very helpful. So my experience at Scripps was unique in that I worked in two different laboratories when I was here. I worked in a chemistry laboratory and a biology laboratory. So I work on antibody drug conjugates, which are uh, a relatively new therapeutic class where they combine the targeting capabilities of an antibody, which is a protein that binds uh, an antigen on the surface of a tumor cell with very good specificity and then we actually attach, chemically attach a cytotoxin to that antibody to selectively deliver it. So it involves chemistry and biology and I'm able to do that at Scripps working between two different labs. I was very actively involved with the education outreach program at Scripps Florida throughout my time in graduate school and working with uh, both high school teachers and students really helped me see the value in connecting the practice of research in the lab to classrooms. So it was really very satisfying to tie my research to the outreach program at Scripps Florida and finally to a publication that I hope is valuable to teachers throughout the country.